I'm Brett Crosby. I'm the group manager of Google Analytics. Today I'm really happy to tell you about this new integration we've done with Adobe and the developer community, including Matthew McNeely, VP of Sprout, to develop an open source tracking solution for Flash. Google Analytics tracking for Adobe Flash allows you to track how people interact with your Flash content. Before this, you could track a little bit about how people were interacting with your Flash content, but it was all in isolation. So now it's much easier for Flash developers to work with Google Analytics. Let's see a real-world example of how this actually works. Matt? Thanks, Brett. At Sprout, it's uh, important for our clients to understand uh, whether or not their campaigns are being successful. So we've been using uh, Google Analytics for some time to track our own web traffic. But there's never really been a way for us to use the same system to track what was going inside our Flash content. And now that we have a native solution for ActionScript and Flex, uh, we're able to track not only the analytics information coming from our website, but also from our Flash content. So we've been working with Sony music artist Pink, and we want to show three things that we accomplished using Google Analytics tracking with our solution. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to send page views from your Flash content. So next we'll show an example of wanting to track an event when people click the Remix button. And finally, we want to know how long people have engaged the brand and how long they've spent creating the Sprout. So that's the last example we'll show is actually sending a value along with an event tracking action. So this is example one. This shows page view tracking using the analytics tracking. This is how people create a Sprout. What the consumer can do is come in and they can choose to add photos, videos, add text, multiple pages, they can create the playlists. But really what we want them to do is click this Publish button right here. And that's a goal for Sony Music. When the application first starts, we launch actually an, a, an analytics page track event. And when they click Publish, we launch another page track event, which uh, actually makes a goal. So let me show you in the code. This is an example application of what a page view track might look like. It's very simple. You just simply instantiate a GA tracker, pass your account ID, and then simply pass the URL through that object that's instantiated. Now let's go over to Google Analytics to see exactly how these page views show up in the, in the dashboard. This page view is actually when the application is initialized, and this is when they actually press that Publish button. We send a page view for that. This represents the goal that we're trying to achieve for our campaign. So now we're going to go to example two, just sending a simple event. So this is an example of a Sprout that's been published by a consumer, and it's out on their MySpace page or an iGoogle page or wherever. And um, when you click the Remix button, we're actually firing a Google Analytics tracking event, and this is what it might look like. So here's the code. It's very similar to the code I showed earlier, just simply that you're sending an event. And this is what it looks like on the dashboard. I'll go to Event Tracking. And remember, that was a Remix event. I'll go to Actions. And we can see the remixes that have occurred in this last couple days of the campaign. And finally, we'll take a look at a, an example of tracking an event using the optional value parameter, which in this case will show how long the consumer is engaged with the content. This shows off another feature of Event Tracking, which is an optional fourth parameter to Event Tracking, a value. So when the consumers started using the Mixer product, and when they press the Publish button, we also send an event of the elapsed time that they spent working in the environment. And it's the same code example, with the exception of you would pass an additional elapsed time in the value for the tracking event. Well, thanks for the example, Matt. Those are great details. If you'd like to learn more about Google Analytics tracking for Adobe Flash, visit google.com analytics.